hey y'all yeah spring is springing in south mississippi we fixing to go out and take us a little ride and uh we're gonna take the deer out we're not gonna take my deer we're gonna take mickey's deer we just put it together saturday and uh we need to uh test ride it don't we need to go test drive it and make sure he's and even with his uh rear view camera we're gonna do a video on that so y'all stick around for that but we're gonna go out and uh take a little ride for our lunch break hang around with us Well, hey y'all, it's Rip One Outdoors. We back with you, a little, doing a little video on my lunchtime. Y'all, the wind is blowing really, really hard. So I would apologize in advance for any huffing and puffing that y'all hear on this mic. And I tell you something else. I'm y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it on the GoPro, but spring has sprung. Hopefully that is encouraging to you folks up north that have been going through all the snow and ice and everything. But yeah, everything here is turning green. The flowers are blooming. Uh, the trees are budding. I'm sure we're going to have another cold snap come through or two. Maybe like a little Easter snap. Y'all have heard that old saying, the Easter snap, you know. But I would have couple more of those come through but hopefully all the cold cold stuff's gone but uh yeah it's really really nice so we're gonna go over and take a little light lunchtime ride we're on the deer uh i told y'all uh, in the, my startup video i was going on mickey's deer but i didn't have my phone holder and all that on there so but I know his deer is good. We put his deer together Saturday. Everything looks good there. Uh, what did we do yesterday? We put rear view cameras on. Yeah, check it out. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Y'all see that? It's a good thing I was on the deer. I hit that, that bad pothole right there. So we're starting to see some feedback from the, uh, the all-terrain deer video that we put out. And it 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 came out on Monday. Yeah, we're starting to get some of the good feedback from y'all. We appreciate that, y'all, so much. Some of y'all are telling us that you're you have plans to buy and use our codes and uh and our link. Some of you have told us that you have bought one or two and y'all used our code. Ah, oh, that just that just uh that's icing on the cake, y'all. I really appreciate that so much. What else is going on? The ladies are progressing pretty good on the uh, on the Ocelot Pros. We bought two Ocelot Pros, Susan and I did. One for her and one for Candace. And uh, they're 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 doing real good. They're, we're not we haven't went off and made no video or nothing yet, but they're they're still working on them but they're doing real good so we look forward to something like that in the future uh shout out southern e-biking southern e-biking is having a little uh i guess what you call a mileage challenge he wants you to record your mileage on the on one of the apps Mount my ride, uh, commute, or whatever, whatever you use, all trails, whatever you use to keep up with your mileage. And if you haven't subscribed to his channel, hey, go ahead and hit his subscribe button. 
and tell him what app you're going to be using and enter this mileage challenge. It's going to run from March 11th to March 26th. I hope I'm telling that date right. He'll correct me if I'm not. But yeah, that ought to be fun. I don't know how much, you know, I, I, I can tell you I probably won't win nothing, but he does have prizes to give away. And uh, yeah, that's that's nice. He got some little prizes and so I'll let him tell y'all all about that on his, you check on his channel for that mileage challenge video. But that ought to be something that's interesting. So check that out. But I told him I, pro I probably wouldn't win anything because I don't know how, you know, I don't ride as much as probably what a lot of y'all do, but I enjoy what riding I do, I can tell you. Let's see, we talked about the Ocelot Pros with the ladies, yeah, they're coming along. Uh, Candace is a, my daughter Candace is a teacher, and uh, at Pearl River central i think she does seventh grade so that's uh what middle school something like that i think that's middle school y'all correct me if i'm wrong okay you students but anyway she's got a bunch of students that watch us and we want to do a shout out to them candace sent me a text and said they inform her once in a while of uh, what the kids are doing online whenever they're on their computers online and they're watching Rip One Outdoors. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I, just, I told her, I said, Candace, they could be doing a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, she sent me a screenshot. <laughs> Oh, Lord. And they watching. They was watching the Iron Eyes Cody uh, edition. <laughs> well, we showed the old couches. Well, I see the old tires are still here, y'all. Yeah, I guess the county, the county's gonna come back to pick him up. There's the old boat. It's still there. Somebody throw out a big old plastic bucket of some kind. Anyway, look, there's tongue oil's, uh, tongue oil trees blooming. You guys know what a tongue oil tree is. Hey, I'm fixing to give y'all a little history lesson. Them tongue oils came here from China. Uh, L.O. Crosby, y'all have seen me show y'all the Crosby uh, mansion up there in Picayune. L.O. Crosby, they, did, they were very influential in the... Uh, in the early days of Picayune in Pearl River County and with the industry and all that well they started an industry here in Pearl River County and it was a tongue oil industry and they used that tongue oil to make uh, paint thinners and linseed oil and paints and stuff like that so they, they started the company Crosby Chemical in Picayune yeah and that's some of the old tongue oil trees are still around here i mean you see them blooming out we got one right there in front of the house yeah to look check out everything y'all everything's turning green look at the dewberries out there let's let's get another look at them dewberries now let me let me tell you folks something you fine folks i ain't talking above none of y'all's heads am i Y'all know what dewberries are, surely. Look, you could you could come right here and pick a big old butter bowl full, huh? Whenever they get black. I'm gonna keep y'all posted on that. About the dewberries on the on the pasture fence over here. We're gonna watch them grow. We're gonna sample them. And we're gonna do it online with y'all. Woo, that wind whooping. Yeah, so, so we got some middle schoolers up there at Pearl River Central. <laughs> yeah.
and they watching Rip One Outdoors when they supposed to be doing their schoolwork. Hey, they could, I, like I told her, they could be doing a lot worse. Hopefully we're not no bad influence on them, that's for sure. All right, we're gonna turn around. Turn around at the old turnaround place. But yeah, we had we had some fun, and I tell you right now, it it pretty much showed what. Uh, I mean, I don't. It doesn't show everything this deer is capable of, but it shows some of the things it's capable of. One thing I was really glad that I got to do, y'all. That pollen is burning my eyes. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to stay out in it. One thing I was glad I was able to do was show y'all how that thing go through them woods. Up down them wood roads and all. Uh, we went back in there behind, behind where that old pumpkin patch used to be. Yeah, I was glad to, I was glad to be able to do that. Because there's a lot of people that may think, well, I want a hunting bike. But I have a magicycle bike. They ain't made for hunting. I, I beg your pardon. They are made for it. They, they are made for it. They don't advertise them. I'm about the only one that advertises this bike as a hunting bike. And I know with all the things about guns and all that, a lot of people may not rather me say anything like that. But I, I, I was raised hunting. And we was raised with guns. And uh, so, yeah, you can use one of them. Billy Wayne over here, the man that runs the equipment, he's... He's going in about two weeks. He just had me order him a front basket for his motorcycle cruiser because he's going turkey hunting up in, uh, he goes all over the United States. I think he's going up in Kansas somewhere turkey hunting. Yeah. But yeah, I'll tell you what else. This thing was, this deer here was filthy. I had to give it a bath. I had to do some uh, rough cleaning on it. Yeah, I'm sitting here looking in my rear view camera, y'all. Y'all knew I was gonna do it. Y'all knew I was gonna put one on there because I love my rear view camera. But I was kind of questionable about how I would run my wire uh, in this down tube and all. But uh, man, I got that thing. Look, I got that thing fixed up right. It looks good. Uh, one thing I had a problem with, I couldn't have put my old camera on it because that wire wasn't long enough. Yeah, that wire wasn't long enough. So I had to wind up, I found one online that they advertise it had a 9.8 feet wire so that's the one I got it was $62 and some change uh, a piece me and Mickey we split a $124 bill on them but worth every penny of it I tell you very clear and I ain't got to do this chicken wing thing with my arm in order to see if it's uh, is anything coming back there Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can pull over here. Can y'all see that? I mean, that's a very clear, pretty clear picture right there. Hopefully y'all can see that. So anyway, we'll head on back towards the house. I want to tell you a little story. I'll tell you a story about Daddy and the TV man. My daddy was a daddy was a very simple man. He he uh he never did follow too many trends of the world. He was a simple man until he died. Daddy didn't wear overalls, but I had some uncles that did wear overalls. Uncle Herman he won over he he wore overalls. But Daddy always wore khaki pants. And 
hey, don't ask him to wear anything else because that's all he's going to wear. Daddy never, ever wore a pair of tennis shoes as long as I remember. Never wore tennis shoes. Daddy was just plain. But I'm going to tell y'all, in this world we live in, this world needs a lot of plain nowadays. But I think about the TV man Joey had a job I'm thinking Joey was working with uh, maybe Tektronics or something like that but Joey had a good job and he decided he was gonna go buy us a, a new TV we was all still living there at home you know and uh, we had an old TV that was up on the table and every time the news would come on or something daddy want to watch that thing would go to rolling y'all remember that that old picture would go to rolling and we'd have to go over there and beat on the side of it to make it stop rolling. Daddy would just say, boy, that thing, that thing would get you right in the middle of the news and it would start rolling. And we knew just exactly how to beat that thing. You tap it on the side. Well, one day, Joy went up there I'm thinking it was Crosby, but it was some of the Crosbys in Picayune that had it. Uh, Crosby TV. And Joy bought a brand new console TV. If I'm not mistaken, I'm thinking that it was a Xena. And he just went up there and paid for it and told him, said, to deliver it down there at the house. And show Daddy how to operate it. Well, he come hopping up in there with that with that new TV. Had him a young man with him, and they unloaded that thing. And he led in, telling Daddy all about what all it was doing. If I'm not mistaken, y'all, it was probably the first color television that we had. This would have been back in probably the early 70s. I'm thinking that it may have been the color, first color television, but if I'm wrong, Joy, some of them can straighten me out on the comments. And he come up in there with his and with his young man, and they brought that TV in there, and they set that TV down, and he showed Daddy all the remote control and everything in that thing, and he got to telling Daddy all about how you can adjust this, and it's. You, you know, that it, you don't have to worry about it rolling, that picture rolling and going over and beating on it no more. But he got to telling Daddy how he could, uh, he could pre-program channels and all with this thing and all that. I'm sitting over on the couch listening. And I knew what was coming. I knew exactly what was coming. Dead Army Diller. Boy, that thing's a cutting up too. But... Daddy sat there and listened to him for a long time. And he is telling Daddy all about the remote, how to work that remote. Finally, Daddy stopped him and said, Son, if you can just tell me how to get that thing on Channel 6, then you can go on about your business. All Daddy ever watched, and he got up in the morning time, Daddy watched the breakfast edition. That was New Orleans, uh, Channel 6 out of New Orleans. Bill Stanley and Bart Darby. Bart Darby was the weatherman. Bill Stanley was the broadcaster. And that's all Daddy watched. And then to come evening time, he watched Walter Cronkite and people like that on the, on the evening news. And then he'd watch a gun smoke or something like that. But Daddy didn't get into all the fancy stuff. But Daddy all, Daddy told that man, so all you, all you need to do is just show me how I can get it on Channel 6. <laughs> now that man, Mr. Crosby, he spent all that time... Hey, there's a... What about it, horses? He spent all that time up in there telling Daddy about how to work that remote and all that. And, uh... It wasn't no use in it, but I was sitting over on the couch and I said, I just know. I said, I'm just waiting. Daddy's fixing to tell him. said, look, ain't no use in telling me all that stuff. 
Big red on the head. How you doing, son? Come over here and get you some. What about it? Oh, red. He's a pretty gentle little horse. You know, even the little old mule out there, he's he's kind of friendly and up to him. He got to where he'd spit at me, you know, for a while. Look at this little young brown one right here. He looks like a young horse. Anyway, y'all want to hear a horse story at the end of this video? I'll go back and get one of my old stories, my old horse uh, videos that I did. And it wasn't too long ago, but you know what? They we've got a lot of subscribers, and people people might be interested in here. And if you're not, don't worry about it. But all right, y'all, we fixing to shut y'all off. I tell you what, I've enjoyed the ride. It hadn't been but just a little short ride, but wanted to come out and tell y'all we got Mickey's deer going. Uh, Susan and Candace is coming along. Uh, as planned, I guess. They're not ready to hit the town yet or nothing. But we're still working with them. Check out Southern E-Biking. It's mileage challenge. What else? Oh, I'm going to do a video on my uh, rear view camera. It's not going to be an unboxing and it's not going to be a review. It's going to be a how how I did it. And that's that's what exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be a how to. Okay? <clears throat> Y'all know how it is. If you see side you want to buy one of them magic cycle bikes, and I don't blame me if you do. Hey. Give my give my uh that link in my description of of, of you if you will. And uh, use one of them RIP 1, RIP 2, RIP 3 codes there. That'll get you a discount. Uh, if you're buying a deer, hey, use that RIP 300 code. That'll save you a few dollars. Like and subscribe if you would, and I appreciate it. But yeah, look at here, y'all. They come through here with the uh, lawnmowers and all and cut these things, but see the azaleas? The azaleas is in full bloom. Yep, everything's turning green. So y'all keep up the good spirits. It's coming. Hang in there. Hey, we'll catch y'all on the flip-flop. <laughs>